sound try on going to town uh, pick up and I uh, been stuck in the house all day long ready to get out and do something but I know she don't want to do anything since she's worked all day so I'm going to put together a food video this afternoon got to work on fried rice so I've already prepared the white rice and letting it dry out a little bit so it'll make a little bit better fried rice uh, when I work on it later. Okay? I'm here at Tita's work waiting to pick her up and the parking situation which is already terrible has been exacerbated by the fact that they don't have any place to put their uh, trailers and so they take up all the employee parking with trailer parking so there's no place to park and you got people double parking everywhere and I'm surprised that there's um, any places at all and I'm here and I'm just kind of pulled here in front of a uh, area right here in the front usually don't get this place usually you got about 10 cars here already and I don't know why nobody here now, but I'm sure I'll have to move around a couple of times. But, all right. Using two hands to cut is so overrated. You just want to put your hand in there, get your fingers cut off, that's fine. When you're as good with a knife as I am, you don't you need to use two hands. So, that's all. Big funny joke, haha. Uh -huh. But uh, I am pretty good with just using one hand. All right, just an idea of a couple of quick things we're going to put in this. I'm going to put this in mine at the table. Uh, Tita says it's too hot for her. Uh, spicy squid cube. Uh, and then another uh, beef loaf. Uh, I guess it's kind of like Spam, but beef instead of pork. Uh, uh, I'll chop that up and have it ready to uh, start the mix when we get ready to go. Okay. All right, so we got our all our ingredients here ready to go. And um, got the mushrooms. And got the vegetable medley. And got the a beef loaf. And got four eggs ready to start beating. And um, this stuff here, the... Uh, the chili squid and uh, the rice, a uh, little salt, a little pepper. I'm not going to use much salt, so just kind of give you a bird's eye view here. All right, then we got the, the big pan, and what we'll do is we'll get that uh, cooking here in a few minutes and uh, start caramelizing the mushrooms and uh, go a little bit at a time. Okay? Thank you. Okay, we're going to have a go at this now. Let me get the mushrooms started here. I got the pan already starting to preheat. Get this stuff spread out and wet. Start to caramelize a little bit on the top. Moving in and out quite a bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this squid. Put a little bit on it, go from there. Okay. While we're waiting for that, let's try to get our eggs ready. Got four eggs. I'm gonna whisk here. 
how much you can actually see from that angle. Uh, and get that right there over here in the chest side a little bit. That go in on the a little bit there. Okay. All right. Go back over here and start getting this eggs continued a little bit. Try to get a look at that. A little bit of salt in there. A lot of pepper. So we got the eggs. All peppered up here. And that. So we get this out of the way now. Put that there. Alright, so that smells pretty good. Let's see how this looks here. Probably about 30 seconds. Alright, I think the, the mushrooms are. Cook down enough. I'm going to take this beef loaf, throw it in here, let it start to cook. See here. This is up here on there. That starts to hopefully make a little bit. That made mess. Cooked it. I'll clean that off a little bit. Like that. Put this over here. Can't run the pan too loud. We're going to run it a little bit. Alright. Not making as much grease as the eggs with, or the pan with. That's okay. I'll try to get this a little bit cooked in anyway. a it's just like bologna, except it's a loaf. So, bologna is much better cooked, in my opinion. Just kind of start to get a brown on it. Alright, okay. I think that I'm going to put the eggs in, put the veggies in last. After we get the, the egg and the go in here. And you want to have the, the eggs running when you throw the rice in. Alright, that's good. Important on these pans, if, if no one has told you before, that when you make them, whatever you use, don't use a metal anything because you can screw up your uh, finish on it. You screw up that finish, you're done. And it's going to be a mess. Have to throw it away and get another one. Alright, put that. I'll put up here. Turn that down a 
blow. Most of it anyway. I did want to show you in full living color here how good it looks. Still needs a couple minutes of just putting it finishing touches on it. This is probably maybe six servings, something like that. So, all right. I enjoy doing this with you guys, and if you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe, and give me some comments of uh, what you'd like to see me try. Uh, I've got a couple of other dishes that I've done in the past uh, that uh, I'm willing to try a little bit of anything of um, American cultures and Filipino too. Alright, thank you very much. <laughs>